and welcome to x-ray review in this video we're going to learn how to measure the abdominal aorta on x-ray abdominal aortic aneurysms represent the tenth most common cause of death in the western world with males being more commonly affected than females let's first look at the boundaries of the abdominal aorta which are emphasized on this x-ray due to the presence of conduit wall calcification or atherosclerotic placking. Next, let's find and measure the widest visible portion of the abdominal aorta. And in this case, it looks like we get about 5.5 centimeters. So what is considered too big in regards to the size of the abdominal aorta? Well, over three centimeters is focal dilatation or aneurysm. Over five centimeters is a medical consultation and over seven centimeters is an immediate medical consultation. Remember, radiographs only give an estimate size of what's calcified, meaning it can be much larger than what's seen on the x-ray. Ultrasonography or CT are what's needed for accurate measurement. Since most abdominal aortic aneurysms are asymptomatic unless they leak a rupture, they are commonly diagnosed incidentally during imaging for other indications. Let's try another example where we locate the visible portions of the atherosclerotic placking of the aorta and measure at its widest point. As this case is over 7 centimeters, a medical consultation and ultrasonography would be appropriate. The most significant complication of an abdominal aneurysm is an abdominal aortic rupture, and the mortality rate from a rupture is high. Over 70% of patients die before hospitalization or surgery. Here's an example of a large abdominal aortic aneurysm measuring greater than 10 centimeters. Thank you so much for listening and hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a second to like and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you.